You ever put up a post on Facebook and it's, you? I mean, you poured your heart, your soul into it. You took time, you put a perfect photo up there. You put a good description. You told a story, you told a heartfelt story and you just heard crickets. And Billy Bob on the side put up a photo saying, good morning, y'all. And he's getting like a hundred reactions and hundreds of comments on his post. You wonder why, What you know, wonder what's going on with this? Well, in today's video, I am going to give you three tips on how to crush, how to beat the new Facebook algorithm here in 2021. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and dive in. What's going on, my friend? Mike Allen here, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Mike Allen Media, where you do not have to be perfect to be successful. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you three tips on how to beat the Facebook algorithm here in 2021, 2022, 23, 24, and many, many years to come. Now, I know a lot of people are saying, well, the algorithm's changing. How am I gonna get more engagement to my posts? It's super simple. And I'm gonna show you exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Tip number one, be active on social media. If you're on Facebook or if you're on Instagram or whatever platform you're using, be active. The more people that you can keep on social media, the more that that platform is going to reward you. So if you're putting up good content on Facebook and people are coming to your profile and they're seeing your posts and they're engaging and they're spending more time on that platform, they're going to reward you. They're going to boost your visibility. So what I want you to do is I want you to be on whatever platform that you're gonna do. Let's just say Facebook. I like Facebook. So we're gonna go with Facebook for this example. If I get on Facebook and all I'm doing is just surfing the newsfeed and checking out different people's posts and not doing anything about it, Facebook is not going to reward me for that. That is a scroll hold. That is just, you know, that you're just wasting time basically. But what you want to do is you want to be time effective. You want to spend your time wisely so that you can get the most out of Facebook and what they can give you. So if you're on Facebook, book and you you get onto the news feed you're going to read that top person's post you're going to love their post and you're going to give a comment on their post that has to do with what they're talking about if they leave a heartfelt message if they put up a post then you need to leave a heartfelt comment stop giving just thumbs up stop saying good post good morning love your hair Ooh, that's a cool coffee mug. You know, whatever the case is, leave a comment that is going to go along with their message so that they can reply back. If you're not doing that, then start doing that and you are going to see a spike in your engagement as well. Along with posting on people's comments, you also need to get in their inbox. There's two different algorithms. There's gonna be the newsfeed algorithm, there's gonna be the inbox algorithm. If you want more people seeing your content, then you need to be giving more of you to them. You need to be on their post. So Betty Sue, she put up a post today. You read the post, you loved the post, you commented on the post, and then you sent Betty Lou a message to her inbox saying, good morning, Betty Lou. I hope you're having an amazing day so far. How was your weekend? How How's things going with you? Something that simple. Then you're gonna go back to your newsfeed. You're gonna go to the next person's post. You're going to read the whole thing. You're going to love their post. And then you're going to comment and then inbox them asking them what's going on in their life. Maybe you see something on their profile that you can talk about. Oh my gosh, your kid just had a baseball game. How, the, how, did, it, how did it go? Did they win? Hopefully they won, you know, something that simple. Then you're gonna get back on Facebook and you're gonna go to the next post and you're gonna keep doing that. By you doing this, you are boosting your algorithm. They are going to be in your favor if you consistently do this. So be on there, read people's posts, love people's posts, comment on people's posts, a good comment, not just a half-assed comment, and then get in the inbox starting up a conversation. The next thing is going to be somewhat similar, but this is also going to spike your engagement from people that you might not know. Oh, and this is going to be a really, really cool hack if you want to say, but this is going to be leaving comments on people's comments. So if you're out there and you and you um, commented on Betty Jo's post about her going to Six Flags and her kids absolutely loved it, and now there's people commenting on that post as well, did you get to ride the new Batman ride? Somebody commented that on there. I'm gonna say, oh my gosh, I haven't rode the Batman ride yet. I know the Batman is an old ride, but I haven't rode that ride yet. I ha have you, you know, something along those lines. How was it? Now, this person that you don't know is gonna come back to their comment and they are going to love your comment or like it, maybe, 
probably. Chances are they're going to. And then they're going to reply, oh my gosh, the Batman ride about made me crap my pants. It was so good, I had to go five more times after that. The ride, not bathroom. But then you're going to get on there and you're going to say, oh my gosh, it sounds amazing. I've got to get back to Six Flags so that I can get on this Batman ride. You are getting engagement from people you don't know now. Now, if there's other people that are seeing that comment as well, and they're like, oh my gosh, you know, I got to get into this conversation. This is more engagement to you and it's not your post, but Facebook is giving you the benefit because you are sparking conversation. You're keeping people that are engaged on Facebook on Facebook. And that's what they're rewarding you from. It's for, it's the same thing with YouTube. If you make engaging videos, if you can keep people's um, interest inside of your video, then they're going to come back for more. And they're spending more of their day on Facebook. And then Facebook is going to say, man, Mike is doing a great job with these videos. We got to boost this out. People are liking their videos. You know, make sure you like, hit the subscribe button, you know, all that good stuff. But he's keeping people on YouTube. So we're going to we're going to benefit we're going to reward him by giving him more visibility. We're going to rank his videos better. It's the same thing with social media. Go out there and get the engagement. It does not have to be your post. It could be on Instagram. You can go to somebody else's photo that went to London. This person from the from Missouri where I'm from, they went to London. They went an awesome went on an awesome trip, right? Now I can get on there and be like, "Oh my gosh, I've always wanted to go to London. What all have you done since you've been there?" And now they reply back, and then I could say, "You know, what are the what are the most um, what are the most fun places around where you're at?" that I can go check out. And then you're gonna have other people that are gonna come in. Oh my gosh, I've been there before. I absolutely loved it. You gotta go get a pastry down at XYZ wherever. Now you're building more engagement. This is a secret hack that not a lot of people are doing because I mean, we're all human. We all want the attention on us. But if you're going out there and you're diving deeper and getting more engagement, more conversations going, keeping more people on Facebook at that time, they're going to reward you for it. Tip number three is going to be post engaging content. I cannot stress this enough. I have had so many people ask me, Mike, I'm not getting engagement on my post. What am I supposed to be doing? I've gone out, I've been, you know, I've been connecting with people, commenting on people's posts, but I'm not getting any engagement on my posts. I say, okay, let me check out your profile. I go to their profile and it's movie trailers, it's funny cat videos, it's random crap that nobody in that niche cares about. Stop posting about you and start posting for your audience. Start posting for your audience. Why? Because those are the people that are going to engage with your post. So if you, if you talk about football, then talk about football on your profile because your audience is going to enjoy that. If you talk about football and you're posting funny cat videos, nobody is going to engage with your content. So you have to be posting for your audience. Also, when people comment on your post, then you need to reply back to the comments. Don't just leave them ghosted. If you have people that start commenting on your post and they see that you're never replying back to them, do you really think they're going to keep commenting on your post? Heck no, they're gonna go somewhere else. So if you are actually building community around your post, if that is your goal, then you are going to succeed. You are going to win every single time. Why? Because if people love your content, if you're going out there and you're being a friend, you're engaging on their posts, you're building um, engagement, you're building conversations on their posts, and they come back to your profile and they see that you're posting stuff that they absolutely love, then they are going to engage with it. And when you're engaging back, when you're replying back and letting them feel welcome, building that community around your post, more and more and more people are going to be engaging with your content. So if you're posting crappy content, then you're going to get crappy results, regardless if you're going out and engaging with other people's stuff. Stop posting random Google images because everybody else is doing the same thing. Come up with your own stuff. If you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to build your personal brand, then you need to be taking photos of you, putting your face out there, maybe put a quote on top of the photo as well and tell a little story. That is going to pique people's curiosity about who you are. And if you're giving them the value that they are looking for, then they are going to keep coming back for more. They're going to keep engaging with your post. Maybe they're asking questions on your post. And now, just like on YouTube comments, if you ask somebody a question and they answer back down in the comments, you can start conversations because nine times out of 10, there's a 
um, thousands of other people that are going to have that exact same question. And if you can address that inside of your post, inside of your comments, then more people are going to engage with those comments and your visibility is just absolutely going to skyrocket. So that is my uh, top three tips on how you are going to beat the algorithm, the Facebook algorithm here in 2021 and many years to come. What I would like for you to do is I want you to leave down in the comments, let me know what you struggle with the most when it comes to the Facebook algorithm. Also, if you have not done so yet, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you did get value, if you did stay here to the end, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Click the little bell notification right by it so that you get notified every single time that I come out with new content just like this. Again, thanks for checking out the channel and I'll see you in the next video.